there YouTube. Today is Wednesday, what is it, November 11th. I'm taking Wednesdays off now, it just works better for work. But I'm out on the Goldwing today. I rode the Spider uh, probably over the weekend. I just didn't, didn't go pro it. But I think I have an airbag leak. I have air shocks on this, so it's got the bags just like the Spider does in the very back. And I noticed last week when I was up in Caddo Mills, I, I got on and it was zero zero. Thinking, what the heck? It, I guess it, I thought I left it and come unconnected again, but then I tried to get on a uh, a side road, but the traffic was so loud. So I got home and I could I could make I could hear the pump release when I pressed down, and I could hear it pump up when I pressed up so it's working but I think the airbag is leaking because it's not holding it's not holding air like it used to it used to be consistent it never changes so I think I have a job ahead of me uh, changing those airbags in shocks I guess I never really looked at them when I get back there and grease the joints and <clears throat> have to do that I think it, it rode okay it was zero zero so it wasn't rubbing on the inside of the fenders or anything because the shocks are still good enough but it worries it I won't be able to travel with it um, with the trailer because it has to hold I put like 50 pounds in it when I pull the trailer with my wife on the back so I'll have to change those bags I'm sure that's it because if it's not holding air then it's leaking somewhere but it's a beautiful day, 73, well it's probably warmer than 73, if it was 73 I'd be a little bit chilly, but I'm not, I just got out, but a great day, don't know where I'm going, not going very far, like I did last week, 525 miles, that's too much for one day, easy going up there, spend the night, and then come back the next day, but I don't want to do that yet, but I did, um, getting some projects done around the house because we're going to sell it next year uh, fix the piece of drywall that I took out when I had a leak and got to do one in my closet too because I had to take it inside my closet because my shower has tiles so I actually went in through my closet and I had to replace those that entire faucet thing so I had to get a torch and melt the solder and move it up and down and put the new one in I did that years ago so anyway this time I went through my closet oh my god I had clothes in there that I haven't worn in 25 30 years probably 30 years well more than 30 years I had an old really nice dress leather vest <laughs> and I had uh, a lot of dockers that I used to wear to work all the time when I had a real job and they were a 32 waist and I don't I'm not even close to I'm probably 36 even 38 now so I got a mound I mean thousands of not not thousands but hundreds and hundreds of pants all my I had all these really nice sweaters I put um, if you ever watched the Huxtables, uh, how he always wore sweaters. I put him to shame with all those sweaters I had, but I'm throwing them all away because I never wear them. Not throwing them away, I'm giving them all everything to goodwill. So I went through and I got a huge mound on the bathroom floor. I mean, a huge mound. There had to have been five, six hundred items in there pants, sweaters, shirts. I'm not moving all that stuff when we move next year, so we're doing that kind of cleaning and getting rid of stuff, so bye. Well, hello there, YouTube. I'm out on the spider now. I just saw a sport bike going that way, probably over 100 miles an hour and three squad cars chasing him. Idiot. Idiot. I hope he gets one big-ass ticket. Can hear him go screaming by. Anyway, I had to go back home. I had the day off, but there was a meeting that I had to get get to on Zoom. So now I'm back out for a ride again. I left my remote 
on the gold wing, so I gotta do it this way. Bye. Well, I turned my GoPro on again. I bet this did not end very good for this kid running from the police on a on a sport bike. Why would they do that? I mean, did he steal it? Does he think he's really going to outrun the police? I saw him. He ran right by me going, he, he's going this way, going when the police were, squad cars were chasing him. And I was sitting at that stoplight going north. He buzzed around me right here, turned that way, and the squad cars were still chasing him. They buzzed around me too while I was at the stoplight. I wish I'd had the GoPro on. But he turned onto this 29 coming up this way. I'll see if I see any flashing red lights. Ambulance. It never, it's never going to end well for a guy out trying to outrun the police on a on a motorcycle. Dumb young kid on a sport bike. Just don't get it. These kids, uh, young kids, their brains aren't fully developed yet, I guess. You can't be to do something that dumb. All he had to do was pull over and accept the ticket. Now he's probably going to end up dead. Yep, there's all the squad cars over there, so they got him. Let's see if he's down. I bet he's down. Oh, they got him handcuffed if he's not down. Ah. Yep, the same two squad cars getting in. Ah, I see the motorcycle sitting in front of the squad car, so they got him. I hope they got him in handcuffs. He's going to jail. He ran for five miles from these police. Dude's going to jail.